Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be starting with the topic of multiplexing. Now, before understanding multiplexing, we must understand that why there is a need of multiplexing. So, generally what happens is that we have a physical link, the transmission medium through which we are transmitting our data. But sometimes the transmission link that is connecting two devices has a higher bandwidth than the needs of that devices okay so the link if it is connecting two devices such that the bandwidth of a link is higher and these devices do not need such a high bandwidth then in that case the link can be shared okay the link can be shared between uh, other devices also or for transmitting data from other devices also okay so this is the reason why we need multiplexing so to solve this problem we have the concept of multiplexing and multiplexing is basically the set of all those techniques that allow simultaneous transmission of multiple signals through a single physical link okay so till now what was happening that we had a single link and transmission from one pair of devices was happening okay so there was one sender that was using that link and sending the data to the receiver and the capacity or the bandwidth of this link that was being used was way higher and it was not being utilized to its full potential so there was a wastage of bandwidth and bandwidth is a very important resource in data communication okay so we uh, adopted the concept of multiplexing and in multiplexing we allow multiple signals from different devices to be sent simultaneously okay simultaneously means that multiple devices will be sending their signals through the link which has a higher bandwidth than the bandwidth which is required by each of these devices individually okay so the word simultaneous simultaneous means at the same time this word is important when you talk about multiplexing okay and also there will be a single link we are not increasing the number of link because already the bandwidth is not utilized for this particular link that is being used by a single pair so we are using the same link but increasing the number of signals that can be transmitted or the we are increasing the bandwidth utilization of this physical link okay so what are the advantages of implementing multiplexing the first advantage is the efficient use of the available bandwidth of the physical link that we are talking about whose bandwidth was not being completely utilized earlier okay and if there is an efficient use of the bandwidth it will avoid any wastage of bandwidth and it will lead to resource or uh, bandwidth sharing so basically multiple devices are sharing the same link and ultimately sharing the bandwidth of the same link so as to avoid any wastage of the available resources here resources means bandwidth okay and because in network communication the bandwidth of a link is one of the most important resources that is uh, that is what allows us to do a proper data transmission okay now you can imagine or you can understand multiplexing as uh, shown in this diagram so here we have n number of different devices so we have n sending devices which are sending n different signals then we have a device called as the mux or multiplexer then what we are actually doing we are connecting the MUX to a single physical link. Now, this is the link that we have been talking about whose bandwidth is higher than the requirements of each of these end devices. So, now what we are doing is we are taking N different signals from N different devices. We are combining them in some way using a multiplexer or MUX 
and we are sending the combined composite signal through this link now this composite signal will be occupying a higher bandwidth so there will be a better utilization of this physical link but at the receiving end also we want the combined signal to be again broken down correctly and separated into their original signals that were combined together so for that we need another device called the demultiplexer so multiplexer and demultiplexer perform opposite roles and they are the two important components of the process of multiplexing okay so now what here actually is happening there are n lines share sorry n uh, n different uh, lines which are sharing the bandwidth of one link so here lines basically means n different sending devices okay and there is a single link now the multiplexer or the mux combines these multiple signals which we are getting from the multiple lines into a single composite signal at the sending side so at the side of the sender we are getting multiple signal and each of these signals are getting combined into a composite signal at the sender side now what is the role of the demultiplexer when the composite signal created by the multiplexer will travel across this link and reach the receiver side the demultiplexer will separate this composite signal into its original components okay so the composite signal is separated such that the original multiple signals are retained back okay now one important thing that you need to remember is the difference between link and channel so when i say link i am referring to the physical medium or the physical path that is used for communication and in throughout multiplexing we will have a single link whose bandwidth was earlier not being utilized to its full potential but multiplexing will help us in the better utilization of this link's bandwidth now channel is basically a logical pathway in which uh, different signals are getting transmitted so it basically uh, a single link will have multiple channels and channel allows that the multiple signals are, are transmitted through a separate channel a separate part of the bandwidth so basically you can say it is the portion of a link that is being utilized for transmission that is used for transmission all right so a single link can have multiple channels okay based on the part of the link that is being utilized so one portion of the link can be used for transmission of one signal the other portion can be used for transmission of another signal and there will in, in uh, further videos also we will be seeing how this is possible but for this video you must understand that multiplexing what is generally the meaning of multiplexing basically it combines multiple signals into a single composite signal so that the link is better utilized now in future videos we will be studying three different types of multiplexing the first is frequency division multiplexing the second is wavelength division multiplexing and the third is time division multiplexing okay so these are the three kinds of multiplexing that we have to study so stay tuned to our channel so that we can study all these three kinds in detail and you can better understand the concept of multiplexing in data communication and computer networks so that was all for today i hope you have understood this topic if you liked our video please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends thank you for watching and see you in the next video